welcome to my channel hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am gonna talk all about the kills turmeric and cranberry seed mask <sighs> okay. hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna talk all about the kills turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask I have been using this mask for exactly four months now and I wanted to try something new for dull skin. Whenever I have a very hectic day or stressful work life, my it really shows on my skin so much. So it really makes me very dull naturally, which is something that I can't avoid and something that I really understood about my skin. And I had been using um, a couple of masks for the past few years now. And I have a certain favorite, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Body Shop mask. So the masks from the Body Shop had been working on my skin really, really well. And um, I also realized that I wanted to try something new because now that my skin is getting better and I want to try something that will instantly brighten up my face. So that's how I came across the turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. <laughs> this is really long. So I'm going to just put it the turmeric and cranberry seed mask review guys this is a very 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 good mask this is based on my experience and this mask has done a great deal of goodness on my skin i can't tell you guys how amazing this mask is this skin product has really shown a lot of changes on my skin as you guys know i have eczema and pcos so PCOS is not necessarily a skin problem, it's actually a hormonal disorder. However, whenever our hormones are like off the balance, it shows on our skin and we start to have pimples. But without talking much about my skin problem, guys, I'm going to show you how it looks like once I apply on my skin. I'm going to take the mask now and open it. It really smells amazing. It looks like a turmeric paste for sure. And it has the cranberry seeds inside. As you guys can see, uh, the consistency of it, it does look like a turmeric uh, paste. It smells more like, like a minty orange turmeric smell. It gives that fresh feeling towards it. I would highly recommend you guys to use the uh, face brush. This helps in easy application on your skin. And I realized from the past that anything that has contact, like any of your skin that has direct contact on your face, I think it's not very hygienic. So it's best to use face mask brush. I am going to take a good amount of it, guys. I'm very economical with my uh, mask. I don't like to take a lot of it. I'm just going to start off by putting in it all over my face. Also realize guys the benefit of using this face mask is that whenever I have a pimple it actually suppresses the pimples and it it I don't know how but it actually miraculously it just vanishes from my skin so I just applying a little bit more on my chin to see the results later I'm going to show you guys that it will show um, it will diminish the appearance of pimples or red bumps that you have on your skin. This is something that I also noticed. So Kills, I hope if you are watching my video one day, please sponsor me. I'm going to be a great ambassador for you guys. So I avoid putting my mask on my uh, upper lips because I find this place the most sensitive for me whenever I apply uh, the mask. I'm going to put it more on my chin and my upper forehead here because I have some kind of pimples growth that's about to come so I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen once I put this and yeah done guys I'm gonna come in a little closer so you guys can see how it exactly looks like on the face I'm gonna leave my face for the next 15 minutes for now it is still drying on my face so what I feel now when I have put on the mask is that it's actually working I can feel it working on the skin I feel the entire space on my um, cheeks 
and my forehead it's like uh, it's giving me a nice tingling heat sensation it's more like a good feeling like you feel good about it let's talk about the skin a little bit more guys so for three years now i had been uh, experiencing some serious skin issues which i never experienced throughout my teenage life i've been growing pretty much okay with my skin never experienced any kind of like massive pimples or massive acne but i realized for the past three years ago my skin was really acting up so much that it made me felt so depressed when i see myself in the mirror i haven't really openly shared about this experience before because this was very personal for me and i only wanted to share it when i have overcome this problem i have came a long way i really feel that but it also meant that i've put on a lot of work like extra work on my skin to take good care of it the result is shown like today so i have some pictures that i can actually show you guys because my followers on instagram you know they always see the the selfies and it's so perfect it's so nice oh she has great skin but they don't know the backstory of it that i had been suffering from some serious skin issues there are days that i just woke up having pimples for like exactly no reason on my cheeks on my forehead and i was completely clueless to why it's happening to me once i was so angry with my skin that i just wanted to just push up the pimples so they will just come out but i only realized i made it even more worse and that left a scar on my skin which i also never expected so this is the picture i'm going to show you guys i think i showed it in my previous picture of how i remove my makeup video but exactly this was hold on so this was taken on 30th of august 2017 i was like clueless to what's happening i don't know what's going on on my skin so that's where i realized that i have to make a change some people say like you know i don't understand how it feels to be in their skin or be on their skin problem like trust me i've been there like i've been so sad and depressed that I literally would cry every day because I don't know what's going on and I never opt in for any kind of medical um any kind of help from the skin doctor because I thought this was completely normal and I would go to the pharmacy or you know in Malaysia we have uh shops called Watsons and Guardian where I would go and just buy like skincare stuff skin mask skincare um skincare related stuff i spent so much of money on buying the right product that will suit my skin and i will buy this product and the moment i wear i feel like oh it's giving me more uh redness on my skin for no reason i'll just have pimple uh flares like red flares on my chin on my forehead and this made me so sad like what's going on what's happening to me I knew that i had like hormonal problem but i didn't know like it's gonna really act up on my skin and so i was just sitting in my room and my mom walked in and said like you know why don't you go to the skin doctor and check and see what's going on you know it's okay to get an opinion from a third person so i said um okay let's just give it a try whatever the result is gonna be i was so done being sad and you know it, it comes to a point where you just don't want to be like this anymore and you have to instantly change your mood right so i instantly decided like you know what i had enough of being sad about my skin i have to do something about it because nobody else is going to help me if i don't help myself that being said guys i just went to the skin doctor and later on i was diagnosed having eczema which i didn't know my face is pulling guys the mask literally tightens up the skin so the more it pulls and it's hard for me to talk but i'm still gonna try to talk uh to share my experience so this will be not like not the other boring video that i'm posting or the most quiet and silent video i'm trying to talk in all my videos but sometimes it just gets too much that i just want to focus on doing my makeup or doing anything else so yeah the skin is actually tightening and as you guys can see it is um drying but not too dry because it it sticks on my skin it has to be completely dry that it doesn't stick on the skin I went to the doctor and he said that i had eczema and i had no clue what that was until i went home and did a proper research and the doctor did advise me like 
what are the things for eczema that I'm not supposed to be doing, I'm not supposed to be eating, be cautious about everything thereafter. And he did tell me like, you know what, you have to change your skincare stuff. And the doctor gave me some medicine for my eczema. And I started using the doctor's soap. Like there were um, face cleanser, there was moisturizer, there was serum, there was toner. And I was strictly using the doctor's uh, products instead of using any other product. But And we know that whenever we use the doctor's product, every of the skincare is going to be so expensive. So one time I go um consultation fees and their product is just going to cost me 600 700 or 800 ringgit which is quite a huge money to spend on too so i used those products for like six months they lasted for like six months i was very economical with my um product i made a lot of research to help myself also to help my skin and also find ways how i can actually improvise the way i look right my skin i opt in too much in uh, organic stuff i started using mangosteen powder i made a video on youtube please go ahead and check about it um, for my pimple scarring i started using a uh, mangosteen powder together with honey when i mix them i put it on my skin that was my face mask for like four to five months until i saw so much of changes on my face I started moving more into organic skincare so i would make my own rose water rose oil and i would also make like my own face mask using fruits and there's a lot of things that i did i'm going to share with you guys one by one in my upcoming videos but i also want to share like i needed to use some kind of moisturizer on my skin so that's why i started using the drops of youth serum i started using the serum also exactly a year ago and i find that it was very um, good for my skin i started buying them also time to remove the mask let me show you guys this is how the mask is guys this is how it is guys it is completely dried out now it's ready to be washed i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys to another location to wash my face i like to always use a cognac sponge guys this is also a hygienic way to take care of our skin so i'm gonna wet this in warm water and i'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my uh, mask As you can see, the, got, the cranberry seeds will always remain on the skin. This will be a little bit hard to remove. We have to wash it off with water. But for now, I'm just removing the entire turmeric mask first. So this is the after look guys. I'm going to show you from a natural lighting to see that it is instantly feeling really smooth and really soft and I really like how it looks. So I'm going to show you guys from the natural lighting how it looks like. As you guys can see, I told you about the pimples bump that's on my um, the redness that I had on my forehead and on my chin. It's actually getting lighter. And I like that it is getting lighter, which is good for the skin. So this is the after mask look guys as you guys can see it instantly brightens up the face i think i've pretty much covered everything so if you like this video give me a thumbs up till we meet again in our next video guys see you soon bye